waking up for finals day, check the waves and hopefully it's pumping and yeah, 10 o'clock start and I mean I've been waiting for two days to finally get the call so pretty stoked that they finally locked it in. This is Cruzy's waves. Cruzy's got this for sure. Super stoked. I mean, Miguel's probably like one of the toughest guys in the draw, so I was like, I've been freaking because the comp has fallen off for two days. I was like, all nervous and just sort of pacing around the house. And like, once I got in the water, I now just felt good. Like, my feet weren't moving out of my wax and stuff. And a couple fun little laps. And now I'm super stoked to, to get that one out of the way. Got my confidence up. Yeah, my boat feels good and. I kind of know how which way to pick, so just take it by it and see see what happens. on the line, that young's trying to fight his way back in, he needs an eight, good little comeback way there and uh, I mean everyone's cheering for Mitch to win it, uh, you can't count out that though, I mean he's, uh, you know, the way he's been surfing this whole event, he's an amazing little surfer so we're just going to have to wait. Mitch Cruz is your best friend. Yep. Do you yep. want him to make this heat or do you want him to lose? I want him to make this heat. He'd be more excited if he made this heat and beat you in the world title than if he lost and you won. No. Because if the French win, Jack wins. So Mark Lacamere is doing it for Australia right now. Yeah, it's getting up on third row.